we shall now learn deleting records from a database with entity framework we have learned how to display records totally various filters various sortings and now and we also learned how to add a new record we learned how to update an existing record and now we shall learn how to delete an existing record from the database there are again three steps for this get a reference to the record using single first or default first so once you have a reference to the record just like we were uh, catching the reference when we were updating the record so get a reference to the record call second step is to call remove on the collection obtained from the ctxt and finally it is to propagate the changes to the database with save changes we can see the steps are fairly consistent the same steps worked for updating also we got a reference to the record then instead of remove we updated the properties and called ctxt.save changes the same steps work in this case also except that the function called is remove we can now have a look at it here this is our existing project that we have been doing and we can add a function called private delete record here we will write using db patient entity ctxt is equal to new uh, something has gone wrong actually it should be using and is equal to new so this is what so get hold of your context and now let us delete the very record that we updated the last time so we'll catch the reference to that tbl patient t is equal to ctxt dot tbl patients dot single tbl patient lambda for it x dot is double equal to 10 put a semicolon here we have got a reference to the tbl patient next is ctxt dot tbl patients dot remove so instead of insert this time it is remove or instead of uh, updating we are just removing it what is to be removed t is to be removed and finally ctxt dot save changes and you can return deleted so we can format it here I should write string here a private string delete record and uh, now I can call delete record here we'll now run it and see and then verify before going there let us see the record as it appears in the database show table data this is the record that we want to delete this time of id 10 now we can run it and see the output it says deleted so record must have been deleted coming back to the table we will have to call refresh and the record is no longer there so you can imagine the power of entity how quickly it allows you to delete update insert new records into database 
as you are already aware that this single function will throw an exception if the record is not found this means if I try to delete it again and again an exception is going to be thrown or if it is not existing an exception will be thrown so I could have used single or default and tested for null I can make that improvement here single or default and here you can write if null is not equal to t then you remove and save changes else so this one has to be moved up else return record not in database tried deleting record not in database now if we run this we should see the other message because the record has already been cleared tried deleting record not in database so you can always be always write some accurate code like this and uh, this is delete update insert data get data so we have shown all the scenarios in this one particular exercise this is now uh, we will make it available uh, through the downloads you can test it out there read it out there and in the meantime I have an exercise for you create you can create a table called TBL tickets and add just two columns one for ID auto numbered and the other for issued two you should add certain records to it issued to the name one or name two whatever you want to add five or six records and delete one of the IDs from the database using the method we have given you so this should help you delete the record from the database later on we shall see how to make use of uh, this delete from within a form MVC form the same code will be used there also. Thanks.